So it would be a celebration if the Martin Luther King Center wouldn't, wasn't celebrating with the Booker T. Washington Center. So we wanted to uh, show our appreciation for the 100 years that they've been in existence. So we got them a nice plaque that they can hang in their lobby. And it says, uh, on this day, July 22nd, 2023, we join the Erie community in honoring the Booker T. Washington Center and those who have the insight, the drive, and determination to gather together to address the welfare of the black race in the Erie community by creating the Community Center, formerly named Booker T. Washington Center on September 11, 1923. To strive to improve conditions of workplace, study, health, and living conditions in the Erie community and to work with other organizations like ours whose goals and objectives were consistent with those of this organization. So on behalf of myself, the board of directors, my chairman of the Bayfront Native Martin King Center, we'd like to present this small token of recognition to the executive director, Mr. Chantel Hilliard. I'm not going to say too much because uh, Mr. Williams asked me at the end saying some remarks. And so I told him this was going to be some real quick remarks. So I'm not going to say much, but hey, James, uh, I really want to thank you for uh, all of the work that we've done together and we will continue to do together. And uh, Mr. Marcus, I appreciate you, good brother, and appreciate your thoughts and the sentiments. Thank you. So our first award tonight will be our Youth Community Servant Award. And we're awarding it to Demario Crawford. Demario Crawford, a Cathedral Preparatory Alumni of 2023, will be attending St. Francis University to play Division I football. Mr. Crawford is a two-time All-State, three-time All-Region, and All-District athlete in football. He is a Tri-Athlete Award winner, and in 2023, 20, he was recognized as the overall most outstanding athlete at Cathedral Preparatory School. Mario is also an indoor track state medalist in the long jump. Pretty talented. Mario grew up in the Booker T. Washington Center and participated in programs from grade three to grade eight. He credits the Booker T. Washington Center with giving him somewhere to go after school and during summer, keeping him active and away from and out of trouble. I quote him, the Booker T. Washington Center kept me on top of my work so that I could excel in school and keep my interests focused. I fell in love with being active and being into schoolwork or being in the streets. The Booker T. Washington Center still helps me today. I have connections and mentors I've met throughout the years and we stay in contact. Tonight's Youth Community Servant Award, Demario Crawford. Demario is away at football camp, and his mother, Desiree Crawford, is here to accept the award on his behalf. given in recognition of service and participation and advocating the mission of the Booker T. Washington Center in developing community youth. DeMario grew up in the Booker T. Washington Center and participated in third through eighth grade programs. Um, he credits the Booker T. basically just says what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> given the sec 22nd day of June 2023 to DeMario Crawford, and congratulations.
Ooh, I really like Google Sand, but I will say thank you to everyone, Mr. Shra and the Booker T, and everyone as well here and on committee. I'm proud uh, to move on to the next award, and this is the Community Servant Award. We'll be honored to Homer L. Smith Jr. Now, before I read this bio, I contacted Mr. Smith. And you know, he's just so smooth in his conversation and his demeanor. When I, I told him we were looking to award him this evening, he just was so laid back. But I want to tell you, brother, you've been, you've been aligned in this community. And we thank you. So I'll read a little bit of his bio. It's very complex. All right. So Homer Lee Smith was born and raised in Buffalo, New York. He is the son of the late Homer L. Smith Sr. and the late Pauline Staten Smith. Homer attended the Buffalo Public School System and is a 1972 graduate of Hutchinson Central Technical High School in May of 1976. He received a Bachelor's of Science degree in secondary education social sciences from Gannon University. Following his graduation, Homer was, Homer was hired by Gannondale New Horizons as a counselor and night child care worker for the intensive treatment unit. In 2011, Homer was recognized by Gannondale for 35 years of exemplary service to the agency. Homer worked at Gannon University as a counselor in the Act 101 EOP program from 1976 to 1979, and the Assistant Director of Alumni Services from 2005 to 2010. Homer was employed by the City of Erie for 25 years and dedicated an efficient employee in various capacities from 1980 to 2005. He served as a Compliance Officer in the Human Relations Commission as the EEO Labor Compliance Officer and the ADA Coordinator in the Office of the Mayor. In 2011, he was hired as a counselor of Erie Leadership Rise Academy Charter School. He retired on June 30th, 2022, serving 11 years in various capacities, including facilitator or special programs, athletic director, and public relations officer. As an active member in the Erie community, Homer is a member of St. James AME, where he serves as the Steward Board Commission of Steward and Finance. Senior Usher Board Class Leader as the Public Relations to Broadcast Ministry. Since 1977, Homer has served the community as a volunteer radio announcer on WERG 90.5 as a program sponsorship coordinator for the Super Soul Saturday program. He is a 1995 graduate of Leadership Erie and is a member of the following organizations and boards, Zeta Phi Chapter, Omega Phi Psi Fraternity Inc., GCAC Board of Directors, Erie Branch of NAACP, and the Gannon University African American Alumni Committee. G-U! <laughs> Homer is married to Edna Jordan Smith, and is the father of four sons, Marvin, Marcus, Nigel, and Jordan. He enjoys spending time with his family, traveling, listening to music, watching movies, and attending NBA contests. Brother Homer Smith is thankful for his upbringing in a Christian home. Partying, partying comments raise up a child in the way that he should go, and when they get old, they won't depart from him. I'd like to present this Community Service Award to Brother Homer Lee Smith, Jr.
I was just teasing Julius. I said, you might have to read this. I can this. But anyway, Mr. Homer Smith, as I mentioned to you before, you've been a, a, a great leader in this community, and we appreciate your service. So I'm going to read what this says uh, on the plaque. Stick with me, uh, crowd, if, if I get a little, uh, you got to get the right angle on here. <laughs> BTW uh, Community Service Award, the Booker T. Washington Center Centennial Celebration uh, Committee presents BTW Community Service Award for Homer L. Smith for his lifelong commitment to advancing the Erie community through his many acts of volunteerism and community service and leadership. Spiritually, spiritually, morally, socially, and educationally has yielded a bountiful harvest for many, for, for many in the community. I told y'all. His life goal has been to give back to the community in all ways deemed appropriate. Given on this 22nd day of July by the Booker T. Washington Center Board of Directors, Mr. Homer Lee Smith. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just first giving honor to God who continues to provide, protect, and bless me. A special thanks to the Booker T. Washington Center for this prestigious honor and celebration of the 100th anniversary. I'd like to thank my family, my wife Edna, my son Jordan, who are here today, for sharing me with the community. I'm also blessed to have my sister Nancy, my cousins Rosalind and John from Buffalo here today, and to my Erie adoptive family, thank you. Thank you for keep doing whatever you can to make Erie better than how you found it. God bless you. Thank you. This next award goes to a very deserving young lady who I can say I've known for the last little over 62 years. <laughs> Mrs. Chevalier Shag Nana Mom Johnson has dedicated most of her life to community service. What'd you say, what? <laughs> Born in Burksville, Kentucky, Mrs. Johnson's parents moved to Erie, PA when she was very young. She has worked and been dedicated to Erie's youth and families building cultural, competent, respectful citizens. She is a graduate of East High School, where she was active in sports, baton, and dance. She went on to nursing school and became a registered nurse. In 1969, Mr. W Melvin Witherspoon asked her to serve as a recreation director at the Act Center. She accepted that position, and her journey in community service began. She started a dance program teaching young girls the art and rhythmic style of dancing. She taught ballet, modern dance, and tap. When the Booker T. Washington Center was built on 18th and Holland, once again, Mr. Witherspoon recruited her for the position of Recreational Director of Culture and Social Services. She worked in that position for a few years. Then as funding became scarce, she became the grant writer to assist with finding sources to continue and develop the needed programs. She taught herself how to write grants. She became so proficient at writing them that it became one of her responsibilities. My father used to say, hey, do it once, it becomes your job. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Johnson was instrumental in writing and assisting grant programs such as community health, summer food programs, scouting, BTWC wrestling, AAU track, and field, just to name a few. Not only was she instrumental in the community, but also a dedicated mother to three, three sons, Theodore, Raymond, and Junius, Junius being a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> says it right here in print. That's what you say. And 10 grandchildren. She is also a mother, teacher, and friend to hundreds of young people who have come across her path and has become a pillar in the community. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lifetime Community Servant Award goes to Mrs. Chevalier Ann Johnson. Thank you. 
Um, and the plaque reads, in recognition of the lifetime service given to the Booker T. Washington Center and the Erie Run community, the Booker T. Washington Center is proud to honor Ms. Chevalier Shag Johnson for her many years as an employee at the center and her many contributions to advancing the center's mission and helping to prepare Erie's youth for the future. Future, Thank you for a job well done and your legacy continues to live on, even on the 22nd day of June, uh, of June 2023 by the Booker T. Washington Center Board of Directors. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, you did. You okay? What? You okay? Here, get your award. You want to say something? Oh, my. I don't know what to say. I, I love every last one of you. That's all right. If you were at that center or anywhere around, and I know about it, they had a guard. They had a kid on each street saying, Miss Johnson's coming, Miss Johnson. <laughs> so here I am again, folks, Miss Johnson. <laughs> and I'm so happy to see you all. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. 